Kapunis, congratulations to your hundred percent pass rate. Thank you. Yeah, we we really really we are over the moon on behalf of the whole school. Mm. Share the ingredients. How did it come about? Yeah, the ingredients starts off first with uh, with trusting God. Uh, where you say, God, you have given me this vision. Mm. And you say, God, I believe you'll see me too. Mm. Then teach me the how part. Mm. God placed um, in my path a solid team of mm. teachers. Yes. A solid team of SMT members, a solid team of school governance. Mm. And God placed a solid team of supporters, particularly the Njambe municipality and other stakeholders like mm. Rotary, Lions mm. and other mm. people. Mm. On top of that, God has given me a committed class of 2022, mm. wherein where we shared our vision with them, mm. the learners told the line. Mm. So we saw them attending the morning classes, mm. that's the ingredients. Mm. For them to attend morning classes, mm. all these extra classes, mm. evening classes, mm. Saturday classes, mm. and and all the other um, vocational schools mm. like autumn school, mm. winter school, spring school, mm. and so on. Mm. So we've got that. Mm. But over and above that, we have a team which works in unity and in coherence. Mm a team of teachers who are dedicated mm. and who, said, who are willing to sacrifice mm. a lot. Mm. For example, they'll come to classes at no cost. Mm. They're not getting paid. Mm. Even though the other um, programs, winter schools run by the department, those teachers are getting paid. But our teachers, they say, we are called to do this. Mm. And I'm eternally grateful for that. So that's the ingredient. Mm. The second part of the ingredient is us as a school, we have what is called a mentoring program. Each teacher, each grade 12 learner for that particular year would choose their own mentor. Mm. So that if the child doesn't have a parent at home mm. or something like that, we step in. So that has been an ingredient. The third fundamental ingredient is the support of the parents. Mm. We, have, we have our WhatsApp groups and whenever we, we, we call the parents and the support, it has been amazing. Mm. So I think a school is at a stage now where the school has... Has, uh, has set itself, or has branded itself as a school of choice, as a school of excellence. Mm. And we, 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 we are confident that the best is yet to come. Mm. And I keep on saying this because I believe that God will, 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 will give us a new blessing each time. So come 2020, what year is it? 2024 mm. for 2023. Mm. You haven't seen that the best, it's yet mm. to come. You know, I, 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 I still remember like, you know, it happened yesterday. I was here last year when yeah. you said you 100%. Yes. And it happened, you know, it happened. Apologies to our viewers because we were blown away and we got carried away. We assumed what you... You need no introduction now because, you know, that's the only way you introduce yourself, you know. Mm. Uh, can you please introduce Uti? Who are you to our... Oh, oh! thank you very much. You're so kind. My name is Olani Justice Mayana, uh, the principal of Kuyasa Fro uh, Combined School. Uh, my clan name is Tsecha Untwenzo No Chawolum Santa. I come from Grahamstown. That's where I was born and bred. I'm a Forte University graduate and I'm serving in this wonderful community of Port Alfred. So in a nutshell, that's who I am. Thank you so much for this. Now let's talk about the results itself, you know. Yeah. Can you please give us a breakdown how many learners you had okay. or, you know, set down for the metric? Okay. And then how many passed, you know, with, with the distinctions, like the categories, you know? Okay. All right. At this point in time, I will only be able to give you... Um, a, a, a very concise uh, mm. breakdown. Mm. Then the details of the subject will follow. Okay. Uh, we had 59 letters. They all passed. So that's, that's 100%. Uh, we moved from 55.2. Uh, so we had an increase of 4.8%. Um, in terms of bachelors, out of that 59 that passed, 
We have 44 bachelor passes. Those are university entrances. Mm. That tells you that's quality result. And then from there, we have 10 diplomas and we have five um, national senior certificates. Mm. So for me, that's quality results. Mm. Uh, we have distinctions in Isikosa, which is our home language. Mm. And we are very proud of that. We have distinctions in life orientation. We have distinctions in um, business studies, in economics, in meds lead, in accounting, in tourism. Um, the, 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 the spread is wide. Mm. So I, unfortunately, at this point, I cannot give you the exact number. But I can tell you this, the quality of this res those results, um, without bragging, they are very impressive and I'm proud of those learners. Mm -hmm. And then, Prince, can you just touch on a bit on the learners that are representing the district, top learners, top performing learners from Iguiasa that are representing the district? Uh, yeah, thank you very much. Uh, we have two learners uh, who have performed way above everyone else. They're in the league of their own. Uh, as we speak, they are at the provincial ceremony. Um, now, they are, his name is Umdingi Ungawe, that's his surname, Umdingi. And then we have Ndiamtanda Mpukwane, a boy and a girl. Mm. Both of them are from the Come Stream. Mm -hmm. um, both of the, each one of them, one has got, Umdingi has got distinction, a distinction in business studies, in meds lead, in Isikosa. And the last one escapes me, um, I'm not sure, but he's got four distinctions. Mm. And Ungawa's got, um, and Siamtanda Mpukwana has got four distinctions as well. So in, biz in, in economics, not business, this one, in economics and meds lead, and I think it's English or is it closer, mm. and, and life orientation. So, and, and, and the other subjects, the other three subjects, they've got higher level sixes. Mm. Um, I think, I think, um, um, Mpukwana was so unfortunate because I think she's got uh, two or three subjects where she uh, she scored 78 and 79 only just mm. she could easily have scored sure. six, six, six sevens or so Distinction. so distinctions so those are impressive results mm. they are representing us there the beauty of it is that in terms of gender we've got a nice balance it's a boy and a girl may I also add this for Ndiamtanda Mpukwana that she has made history because remember the last time we produced the top learners were both boys, both male from the science stream. So the commerce stream has given us a boy and a girl which is pretty impressive. I'm, I'm, just, I'm just over the moon. Do you by any chance know their plans for the year? Yes, of course indeed. Uh, I know both of them, they've applied and, and, and been accepted at Rhodes University. Um, so they will be doing a degree in economics or become accounts. So that's the ideal plan. Ideally, um, as the principal of the school, I also have a follow-up strategy. That's why I, I wish that all our learners could either go to Rhodes or NMU or Forte in the nearby so that we can monitor them. We make sure that they don't go astray. Mm. So yeah. that, that's the rationale behind what, us wanting them to be closer. Mm. We support them. Teachers support them financially. Mm. Uh, teachers support them by visiting them, by buying clothes for them by continuing to call them and, and so on so that by the time they get they get out of our city they would they would not be detached from us yeah so yeah thank you so much principal we are really over the moon we are blown away and like you said it's not just you know quantity it's quality yes sir. 44 bachelors yes, you know, sir. out of 59 yes sir. You know, that's quality that's mm -hmm. quality so congratulations and good luck, you know, to 2023 metric class. Thank you so much. That was Principal of Kuyasa. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.